This is Guitar Hero on tour on the DS. Have you ever thought about playing Guitar Hero on the DS? This, in my opinion, is probably one of the best Nintendo DS like accessory games. There are a couple of them out there that are really cool, but I feel like this one just trumps them all. You know what I'm saying? So this is actually my childhood copy, which is awesome. And this is my grandma's DS, in case you're wondering why I'm rocking a pink DS for this video. This is what my childhood DS looks like right now. This is the current state of it. I tried to do a shell swap. Things went wrong, won't talk about it, but hey, it's a project. They're supposed to last like seven years anyways. But yeah, pretty much, this is Guitar Hero on the DS. So basically, you have this little attachment that actually goes into the GBA slot on the DS. So, unfortunately, you can't use this on the DSi or like the 3DS. It's only the DS Lite, which the DS Lite is clutch for having a Game Boy slot. The game cart right here, which obviously goes in right where the game cartridge goes in. And whoever developed this, which I think is Activision, thought of everything. Look, right here, you got a guitar pick. Now, I will say, this thing breaks your wrist. It's so hard to hold, and if you use this for 10 to 20 minutes, you literally feel like you just worked out your wrist. It's crazy. So I'm actually going to use this as my full-time workout for the next year. So there's a single player, which is pretty much what I would do as a kid. There's also multiplayer. To be honest, I can't even tell you what multiplayer is. I don't really remember. Maybe you connect with your friends. I don't really know. I never really had any friends. Listening to this music is extremely nostalgic. Unfortunately, when I play a game, I can't play the whole song due to copyright. There we go. We're not frozen anymore. So, man, like, listen to that. I don't know how well the camera's picking that up, but yeah, so here we got the career, which I don't really know how to show you any stats behind anything. We got guitar duels, quick play, practice, tutorial. I always just played the career. So I think that there are 25 songs, and this is actually a trilogy of Guitar Hero games. There are three of them, and there's also like a band hero game, I think it's called, which you can actually play the drums. I've never played that, but that one apparently is like, you know, not as good as this. I think this is probably the best one. You can play a live show, I'll press play live show. I'm gonna do easy because this angle that I'm playing at is so hard. I can't even see my screen. So we'll do subway. I have to like reach my arm around my camera and all that. So they got a lot of songs. I, I believe there's 25 songs on here. That is so nostalgic to me. They give you a little snippet of the song, Blink-182. This is, okay, this sounds super stupid, but I honestly think that a lot of my music taste comes from this game right here. Like I'm 22 years old now. When I was, you know, six years old, seven years old playing this, I thought I was a beast listening to this music. I thought I was so freaking cool. So honestly, I really do believe that a lot of my music taste stems from this game right here, crazily enough. So I'm going to quickly hop into like a small game. I have to cut all these clips up because obviously I can't play this song. Oh man, my camera's not focusing. I'm playing through my camera screen. Oh, this is, this is extremely challenging. But basically, you press your, your finger on the color that's on the screen, and you swipe the guitar. So green, whoops, green, green, yellow, green, green. So that's pretty much the gameplay, but I swear this game is so fun. I recommend picking this up. I don't even know how much this goes for. I wish I had one complete in box, because the box is actually really cool. It's kind of like one of the big box things. Yeah, so the... So you can use local Wi-Fi capabilities and stuff for the multiplayer mode, and you could allow a player to use songs from one installment of the series in competitive modes with a player from a different installment, which is actually really cool. So apparently you can kind of like cross-play from the different Guitar Hero games that they have made. The guitar grip honestly isn't terrible. Like when you first play this game, it's kind of difficult, but I feel like you quickly kind of get used to it. Like I, I just played it on my couch like 20 minutes ago. It was really difficult at first, but then really quickly I got used to the gameplay and everything like that. And you know, typical like Guitar Hero stuff, the more like, the more notes you hit correctly and all this and that, and the less you miss, you get like bonus points and boosts and everything like that. So the other games, so this one's Guitar Hero on Tour, there's Guitar Hero on Tour Decades, and there's also apparently Guitar Hero on Tour Modern Hit. I just think the coolest thing is like the DS is sideways, like there aren't a ton of games that take advantage of the sideways screen like this on a DS. And I think, you know, it is extremely gimmicky, but that's what it's like. That's what's so cool about this thing. Nintendo games are mostly gimmicky. You know, that's what Nintendo is really known for is like they're cool gimmicks. Like so many of Nintendo's most popular franchises and series and consoles, they have like the biggest gimmick. Like the Wii, the whole gimmick is the moving controller. Like that was so cool. And Wii, Wii Sports, you know what I'm saying? Like you literally get up and play. And this is another one of those games that involves like actual movement and focus and not so much just like passive lazy gameplay to actually play this game 
and you're kind of getting a free concert, you know what I'm saying? So you actually also get like money and everything and you could buy new items, like new guitars, I think like new colors, just cool like outfits and stuff like that, which is really cool. And then at the end of a concert, like if you don't, like at the end of the concert, it'll say like, your earnings $4,000 and then it'll be like, you broke, you blasted out two speakers, you caused a fire, then it's like you get money subtracted from your total, which I think is pretty fun. As a kid, I probably was terrible at this game. When I was a kid, I think I was bad at most games that I played, but I just love to just play games. I, I don't know what I did as a kid, because there are so many games that I have gone back to in my adult years or teenage years, and I'm like, wow, I have, I have like an hour progress in this game, and, and I have so much like nostalgia for it, or it's like... On the other hand, it's like, I have so many hours in this game, and it's like, what have I done? What have I completed? So I don't know what I would do as a kid. I, it's it's mind-blowing to me to think about. I, I can't even explain it. So I'm going to press Guitar Duels. We'll see what happens. I'm pretty sure it's an it's an AI, like, robot type thing. So it looks like I could pick a cool guitar. Ooh, what should I do? I'll do the V. Dude, the V guitar back in the, when you were a kid was, like, the absolute coolest guitar on the planet. Apparently, I've never actually done this. See, this is what I mean. I've done one of these. And I had to play this game all the time as a kid. So, like, what was I doing on this game? I think I would replay the same song over and over again. I'm pretty sure the song I played was, like, All the Small Things by Blink-182. I'm pretty sure that's, like... Oh, no. Shoot. Oh, great. That's a struggle. Now I gotta restart the game. I mean, like, on the loading screen, they even tell you to, like, straighten out your wrist. Because if you, if you have your wrist a little crooked, it's gonna hurt. It really will hurt. So you really gotta make sure you're... you're hold oh, my gosh. You're holding it correctly. Anyways, I feel like there's not too much to explain about this game because it's kind of like straightforward. I just think this game is so amazing and I feel like it's kind of slept on. Like, I don't really hear too many people talking about this game, but when I do, people talk about how much they love this game. I think it's a fantastic little game to play right now and I guarantee you will have a blast if you play this. So yeah, you can actually buy this for a really low cost. I just looked it up on eBay. Like, you could buy the guitar grip itself. It's like $7. You know, the games are, you know, five, six, seven dollars So you can literally buy this and all of the, the whole trilogy of games for like $20, $25. So it's a steal. I might even go buy some of the other ones now. I didn't even, before this video, I honestly didn't even know they had any more installments of the Guitar Hero on, on Tour franchise. I just thought that this was a one and done type of thing, but I guarantee you will have a freaking blast if you play this game. I think it's so fun, and there are so many cool tracks, and the cool thing is with the, the sequels to this to this game, there are different tracks. So I have 25 tracks per game, so that's 75 in total, and you could also buy the Band Hero one, which I don't think is the same friend, like company. I think that's a different company that made that, but... Do your research before buying that one because I don't think it's as good as this one. I think this one's fantastic. It's seamless. It's fluid. I think the gameplay is great. It's really easy to pick up on because you're literally just pressing four different colored buttons. So it's, it's straightforward. It's a really great time. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe, guys. We're on the grind to 11,000 subscribers. At the time I'm recording this video, I think I'm about 75 away. So we're almost there, guys. Appreciate you guys watching this. Make sure to leave a like. Comment down below one of your favorite DS games or like DS accessories. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one.